It's quite bright over Castle Bridge right now, but as soon as that winter sun goes down, then Bristol is going to turn into a pretty dark and bleak place. But a new festival of light is promising to brighten up our winter nights. Towards the end of February, and with the help of several light installations, Bristol City Centre Bid is hoping to keep the area busy during a traditionally quiet period. The idea came into being because we were asked to look at, by the businesses that fund us, to look at creative ways of using light, to look at how to uh, enliven quieter times of the year uh, for them in terms of businesses, uh, but also to give a greater offer for those who work in the centre to stay within the centre. Most of the installations are being kept a secret for now, but what we do know is that Castle Bridge will come alive once people start to leave work. The bridge will actually be blue uh, in its entirety, and then as um, people walk along it, the colour changes to pink, and it also releases smoke at the same time. Um, so it's a very immersive, very playful experience. Um, I think people will really enjoy engaging with the piece and it will obviously be very photogenic as well. Once it's up and running, Castle Bridge will look a little something like this and whilst office workers are blowing off some steam on the way home, families will be making music in Queen Square. Uh, we can also expect to see um, something very exciting in Queen Square. It's basically uh, eight giant seesaws which are illuminated and they encourage people to ride them and play on them. As they're used people enjoy them, they play um, music and um, it will be an attraction that will be great for families for Bristol, um, for people that work around Queen Square. Bristol City Centre Business Improvement District have committed to delivering the festival now for the next three years. Um, we uh, have great aspirations to grow it uh, regionally and nationally. Uh, we've already been talking to um, other cities in the southwest about some co-commissions for future years um, and yeah this is you know going to be a permanent winter festival for the city.